What's up, Edwin? Hi, teacher. How are you? Are you working? Yeah, I'm at work right now, but at I'm the, going to... Huh? At the airport? Yeah, at the airport. Wow. What's up with you, Melvin? Wow. Yes, That's nice. And what do you do, Edwin? What? What do you do? Are you a mechanic? Yeah, a mechanic. An aircraft mechanic. I work on the planes every day. I fix them. I fix them. And I do a lot of things. So, maintenance. Wow. How are you, Melvin? Hi. What's going on? And how are you, Melvin? I'm fine, teacher. And you, how are you? I'm good, thank you. I I couldn't hear you before, but I can hear you now. Okay. Josh, how are you? Hello, teacher. And guys, good evening. I'm very well. Thank you. <laughs> Say hi. Hi, sweetie. <laughs> Everybody's saying hi. Go play. I'll, be right, I'll be right out. She speaks English since she was two years old. Really? Yeah. She's obviously. Uh -huh. I, I, talk, I talk to her in English ever since she was born. Oh, man. So television and everything movies and everything is always been in english so she speaks perfect english now yeah. that's great i have some experience with some kids that are uh, they coming from us sure. I, I try to learn english talking with him so with her but they are burning or maybe some nervous <laughs> right no, it's, it's difficult sometimes. Hey, Herman. This is my goal for me to talk to my daughter only in English. Excellent. That is Would great. Like it's a great yeah. idea. Hey. Oh, what's her name? Ariel. Hey. Ariel Monserrat. Oh, that's a nice name. Yes. Hello, Martin. Hello, hello. How are you, my friend? What you doing? Hello, 
Going. I'm good. All right. Are you at home? Yes, I am. Oh, okay. And Roxana, how are you? You're on mute, Roxana. Hey, Martin, look at your little daughter. Hola. Hi. Hey. <laughs> what is your name? Emily. Ay, qué linda. <laughs> How are you, Roxana? Roxana, you are on mute. We can't hear you. There you go. Hi. <laughs> I'm How trying to learn how to use the iPad. <laughs> mm, the iPad. Yabemba. Hey, look, your other kid. <laughs> Hello, boy. Hola. 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 Hi. <laughs> mira, decirle hola a los niños, mira. Bye. Bye. Hi everybody, decirle. Aparte pues. No quiere saludar. Hi Karina. Hey, why do you leave? Karina. How are you? Karina. Hi. Oh, there you are. How are you, Karina? I'm fine, and you? I'm good, I'm good. Leave your cameras can on, you hear guys. Me? Yes, I can hear you. Leave your cameras on if you can, because Enzo Forb is asking for your beautiful faces. Oh, there you are, Karina. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I'm here. <laughs> yeah, I can hear you. And yeah, when you turn on the camera, you kind of break up a little. But it's okay. okay. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, it's okay. We can hear you. Jorge. <laughs> Hello, teacher. Leave the phone, Jorgito. <laughs> <laughs> How are you, Jorge? I'm fine, you? I'm good. I'm a good, little good. tired, but I'm fine. All right, all right. Sylvia is coming. Hi, Sylvia. Edwin, what are you doing, Edwin? Nothing, teacher. I just... And my shift, and I'm just waiting for the transport. Transportation. Transportation. Okay, okay. Nice. Yeah. I thought you were on a spaceship. No, teacher. <laughs> they, they think that this mask, mask, face mask, is better than others, but I don't think so. It's very, uh, how do you say, incomodo? Uncomfortable. <laughs> Uncomfortable uh, because it hurts a lot of here on my, on the nose. If you see, really? it's very red. Yeah, red. I can see it. Well, you you look very sophisticated with it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. It's very funny. No, no, you look like a movie star. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everybody. Uh, thank you so much for joining the class. It's a pleasure to have you here. We have um, a lot of work to do. What's up, Robert? 
Robert. Hey, hello, teacher. Good night. Good oh. evening. How are you? I thought your voice had changed. Bele cambió la voz, dije yo. Hey, Sylvia. Hey, teacher. How are you? Good evening, guys. I'm good. I'm good. And you? Everything fine, teacher. Excellent. Excellent. All right. So, are you ready to rumble? Rumble. Um, are you ready to rumble? Like a WWE. Aha, uh -huh. that's right. The rumble is like a like a like a party, like something that rumbles. That's a lot of noise and a lot of um. A shake and everything. That's rumble. So, you ready to rumble? All right, let me share my screen. What did we talk about yesterday, people? Branding. 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 Britain did this in number, branding. So, uh, help me out answering these questions, but only, only um, spoken, okay? You don't need to write anything. So we're going to start asking one person will ask another person, okay? So how about we start, Melvin Losa, can you ask somebody else the first question? Uh, Jorge, what product is Joshua selling? Hey, Joshua is selling a uh, 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 how do you say the pumper? Uh, uh, <laughs> diapers. Diaper, uh, diaper, yeah. Diapers. Okay, okay, Joshua is selling diapers, correct. Jorge, ask question yeah. number two to somebody else. Okay. Uh, Joshua, what is an uh, appealing characteristic of this product? The question is for me. Yes, yes. sir. Oh, what is a play? Oh, it's an um, ecologic diaper. Ecological diapers. Okay. Ecological diapers. Excellent. Now, Joshua, um, can you can you repeat the answer but with a full sentence? Oh, okay. Uh, the appalling characteristic of, of this product is that is uh, ecological diapers. Excellent. That's excellent. Okay, Joshua, <laughs> ask somebody else question number three. Sylvia, please answer the next question. Is the target target audience? Uh, how do you pronounce audience? Audience. 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 Okay. Is the target audience interested in, in buying the product? Josue, Joshua sells. Yes, uh, the people are interested in, in buying. Uh, the diapers that Joshua sell uh, than that the that the supermarket sells. More than. Oh, more more than, than the supermarket sells. Great, very good questions, very good answer, Sylvia. Uh, ask somebody else the next question. Um, to Roxana. Yes. Ro Roxy, what does Amy suggest? Suggest. Amy suggested to call them no brand. <laughs> very good, very good. Now, Roxana, ask the last question to somebody else. Okay, Roberto, have you heard of this marketing strategy, no brand? Uh, no, I never heard about the new brand. No brand. 
Okay, very good, very good. So, let's see here. Oh, generic label. Okay, can you see my screen, guys? Yes. 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 Okay. So, no brand is a marketing strategy. I will give you five minutes to find any detail about the no brand strategy and tell me a little bit about it, okay? Okay. We're gonna have a little okay. raffle and we're gonna get three winners that will talk about no brand, okay? Okay. All right, three, two, one, action. Hello, Mr. Dimas. Hi. Uh, we are investigating about no brand. Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, so no brand is a marketing strategy in Japan and Korea. So people is investigating about this, okay? Please no. investigate a little bit about it and uh, we'll see who is... Uh, the lucky one to explain it. Okay. All right. I also saw Angela coming in. How are you, Angela? Hi, I'm okay. Hey. Good to see you, Angela. Thank you so much. You too. Me too. I'm sorry. <laughs> Good to see you too, Enrique. <laughs> I think that the teacher today uh, don't see my name, but <laughs> <laughs> you look everything. <laughs> I can see everything. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey, welcome, Maria Jose. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> Angela, did you hear the instructions? No, teacher. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, can you see my screen? Yes. Do you remember the con the conversation from yesterday? It was about branding and uh, yeah, we gave the concept of branding and we had a conversation about uh -huh. an look. It was diapers, right? Uh -huh. And yeah, and this that. person in the conversation, he didn't know what name to put in it. Remember? Yeah. And somebody suggested. Yeah. A name. Aha! Uh -huh, the lady on the conversation suggested you should call Joshua? it. Is not Joshua's. Right, Joshua's diapers, but mm -hmm. the lady in the conversation who was Amy. Remember, she, she said, you should call them. What? You remember? No, I don't. Okay, are, are, you, are you looking at my screen? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was no brand, no brand. It was just trend, like uh, Japan or in Korea, something like this, right? That's right. So I am asking everybody if you already know what no brand is. Ah, and, and, and people are investigating right now on the internet 
what no brand is. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. No problem. One more minute, guys, and we continue. Okay, um, so you had a little time to read over and try to see what no brand is. So let's see. Hi, David. Hi, teacher. How are you, my friend? Mm -hmm. Great. Excellent. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Okay. I'm looking. I want to hear Roberto Berrios. Okay, teacher. Okay, so what did you investigate about no brand? I find that the idea is that they save money by in advertising to deliver similar quality at lower cost products. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, what about you, Jorge? What did you find? I find that no brand is that some some company uh, do this to to save money because they know they don't don't spend money in marketing and something like that. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, what about you, Sylvia? I I found teacher that are like a generic brands that are uh, created for uh, or designed to compete with uh, some brands that are well established in um and and but it is like a generic product with uh, the same similar quality but a lower cost. Okay, thank you very much. So what type of products do they offer, Ronald? Mm -hmm. 
they offer uh, different products uh, than provide for other countries nor no have to be of Korea. Oh, okay. So those products come from other countries? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right, let's see. Uh, how do you else? say lemma? Lemma is slogan. Uh, the slogan of this kind of or a market is uh, you paying for the product by not for the brand. Wow. Wow, that's really interesting information. What do you what did you find out, Maria Jose? Uh, I I found out that uh, that kind of of a scheme scheme no brand mm -hmm. it is in general for a, a small a countries a, a company sorry because uh, they want to uh, uh, have a, a a product not necessarily in a better quality, but offers to uh, uh, offers uh, the same product uh, at the same uh, uh, customers, but uh, customers that don't not, not import the brand, just okay. uh, import the, the product and. Okay. And generally, they don't pay franchise. Franchise for, for for a brand, and that is the cost that they don't pay, and that's why mm -hmm. they can give you the product in better cost than the others company that uh, they can they have to pay uh, that franchise. For example, that is one of cost that they don't absorb. Excellent, thank you very much, Maria Jose. And last one, let me see. What about uh, Melvin Losa? Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, I found that the, the, the original idea of no brand was a Japanese man, and uh, it's, uh, its name is Muji, and it's already a company which uh, translates to no label. The idea of, of this is that the, the leaving the, the, the packaging uh, simple and with no ornamentation, uh, you can focus on the product itself and the it's a personification of less is more so uh, you see less but you focus more on the product and the quality of the product excellent excellent thank you very much for your investigation guys now uh, let's see herman what do you know of any example of no brand that you can find here in El Salvador? Well, teacher, I think that maybe I use it by any product that I not imagine that it's a no brand because for example, I was, I went to the, some supermarket or some electrodomestic shop and they offered to me a refrigerator in a mark different like a Samsung but they told me that the refrigerator are the same quality or a little less but it's good too and mm. I think that it was an example. Okay, very good. Definitely, it's, it's a good example that little brands 
compare with big brands. But there are other examples. Uh, sure. Yes, tell me, Sylvia. I, I think that, I don't know if, it's, if the, this is an example. For example, in the, in the, in the pharmacy, in the drugstore, uh, the, I don't remember the name, Farmacias Económicas, I think. They always uh, sell like a generic product for the medicine. It is not the, the it's the same com composition of the product, I think, mm -hmm. uh, but it's not the, the, the original brand or the famous brand that we know about the product. So the, the cost is lower as compared with the original brand. And it's supposed that the effect that making your health is the same. So I think that this is an example for a generic product. Or no brand. Applause for Sylvia. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, that is that is a more clear example. Generic products, right? Another example. Um, let's see. When you buy a hamburger from big places, they already have a brand, right? the Burger King, the um, McDonald's, or um, Wendy's. But if you buy a hamburger from a little cart on the street, it's still a hamburger, right? But it has no brand. You understand that? Because if, if you had a brand, you would actually need to pay for a what you said? If you have, if you have a, a brand and you want to sell branded okay. products. You need to... Right, right, right. Well, what was that again? You need, franchise. you need to pay for a franchise. You need to pay for a franchise. Very good. Have you ever seen... Eh, un producto que a nuestro grupo le gusta mucho, los choris. <laughs> Do you remember that? Do you remember that brand? Yes. Every chori food truck has what? The brand. The brand and the? The brand the name. name. The name. The name, the brand, what else? The color. The color to identify. The colors, what else? The same service. The same service, right? Logo. The slogan. Logo. Logo. The slogan, what else? Logo. The Very logo. Good. Aldo! What else? Has a kind of cover over. There is one thing on the Chori's card that is always on every single one that you need that you always see the people that made the chori so fast okay yes very efficient people but part of you can see the the the, the name el chori the and you see the people with with the uniform the card the same product everything but they make their own marketing and their own branding right there and then. All they need is their brand and a... Chori. I don't know, teacher. Tell us. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. B Google a Chori card and tell me what's in there. The, the car, the carpet of the car, the... The, the color. The hot dog logo. The customers. The truck. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Did you find anything? The phone number. Yeah! <laughs> Why do you think that phone number is important? Publicity. That's the contact. The, 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 the product, the franchise, or acquired franchise. 
Okay. If you want to acquire a franchise, what else? The original, the original brand. Mm -hmm. To make sure it's the original brand. If you want the service, in what modality? Delivery. Delivery. What other modality? Oh, if, I, if I have an if I have an event. To go. To go. You want it to go. If you want to reserve some. Or if you have a private party or a private event. event. <clears throat> Si se va a casar. <laughs> okay. Getting married. Da chori y todo feliz. It's a good idea. Isn't it? Right? Tacaños. <laughs> Who said that? Who said that? Say it in English. Selfish. Selfish. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's very selfish. All right. So, okay. So now that we have this picture of what would be no brand in the value of a brand, we're going to watch a little video, okay? Okay. Okay, so let me play the video for you. Tell me if you can hear it. Yes, sir. Is the sound okay? Yes. Yes, sir. yes sir. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Here we go. Uh, guys, one quick question, and this is, I know it's a silly question, but do you see this little square here? If I make it bigger, do you see it in the entire screen? Yes. Oh, yeah. okay. Yes. So if I do this, it looks better for you. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> All righty then, here we go.
Okay, guys, what do you think? It is interesting for me when I when I saw the religion can be a brand. Excellent, excellent. That's that's interesting to see. Yeah. That's correct. Very interesting. What else did, did, did what else caught your your attention, guys? When it say that when you use the brand as a verb, for example, Google it. So it's, that's remarkable. Excellent. When people use your brand as a verb. Very good. What else called your attention, guys and girls? For example, when talk about uh, a brand is a guarantee of quality. Fantastic. Thank you. That was very important at the beginning of the video, right? Remind me this. How is it that the word brand was born? How did it start? For the, for the cows and the, that kind of animals, you use a hot mark to, to, to mark them and say that they were yours or of your property. Excellent, excellent. And those hot marks, they used to be Family logos, family names, uh, even the name of the owner, right? You used to see cows and uh, horses and sheep que decían de Don Eddie, ¿verdad? Or de Don Ronald. Mm -hmm. and, de, <laughs> and, de, and de el ganado. De Don Ronald. <laughs> and they used to use those marks to show that it belonged to somebody. Then, with time, Karina mentioned something very important. Then it, they started to use it on the packaging for wine. It would say the date it was packed where it comes from, what type of uh, grapes were used. It is a confirmation of quality. And then what happened? What else called your attention on the video? The part of the video talk about Coca-Cola's brand. Okay. So what about it? What 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 did what called your attention on that? The value of Coca Cola around the world. The amount, because it mentioned an amount, right? Right. Teacher, excuse yes. me. What, what is the meaning of GDP? Because in the video. They compare with Bolivia, Kenya, and I, I don't remember the other country. That is gross profit or per capita income. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's like, it, but per capita is per person. Yeah. The gross profit is for the entire country together. So the money Coca-Cola is worth as a brand is more than four countries together. A lot of money. <laughs> a lot of money. Okay, what else called your attention, guys? Tell me about it. Talk to me sure. about it. Yes. Uh, 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 the idea that took my attention uh, is the brand is uh, everything that you make or you don't make with that because uh, it's total. I am totally agree because uh, if you are uh, agree with a specific brand, you give uh, to the company a good prestige. But if, if you don't agree with the quality of different things, you you don't give a good a good. Uh, uh, a good, I don't know, prestige for, for, for a specific brand uh, that, for that. 
That is excellent, Maria Jose. Customers give value to brands. Not the quality, not the place, not the price. Customers. And we decide how much is a brand worth. So we're going to go to the video and we're going to stop it one by one so you can tell me what you think about the parts of the video, okay? All right. Here we go. Okay, you see all these brands? Yes. 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 Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, let me see. What does this company do? Movies. Uh, Movies. Kids Toys. entertainment. Right now I'm streaming too. Toys. Okay. Excellent. Serious. So, think about this. The brand Disney used to be cartoons. You remember? Cartoons? Dibujos animados? Yes. 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 Yeah, yeah. Yeah, That's yeah. how it began. How, what's the name of the owner? Walt, Walt, Disney. Walt, Walt Disney. Disney. Walt Disney. Walter Disney. So this guy started drawing little mice okay he made a little mouse very famous and from there he is the biggest brand in the entertainment um, in the entertainment environment industry. in the entertainment industry tv shows movies animation uh, he even bought marvel studios reserve rights do you, do you see that? Do you understand that? Yes. Okay. Tell me what's this. What do they do? Mm. What did you... Oh. Shaving. Racers. Racers? Shaving okay. machines. Shaving racers, shaving machines. What else? Uh, like the... Like the like the cream for, for shaving. shaving the, the, how do you say espuma? Oh, the, the shaving cream. cream or shaving foam. Shaving cream. Cream. Mm -hmm. Okay. What else? A kind of a small knife. Knife. Blades. In a package. Blades. That's Blades. Right. Blades. Blades. And you, they you do wouldn't... the, the soda. The other ends. The other end. So they do the other ends, perfumes, they do body lotions, como splash para hombres. <laughs> you know, so it, it, the brand represents one thing, but they have many things involved. Let me see, do you know this brand right here at the bottom? Louis Vuitton, I don't know. Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. Yeah. Right, Louis Vuitton. It's yeah. a French brand. What do they do? Bags. Pencil. Pocket. <laughs> they do everything that can be, that can be made of leather. Bags, shoes. Um, belts, uh, clothes. luggage, clothes, hats, uh, purses, uh, all kinds of stuff, jackets, all kinds of things. So let's see. Okay, uh, Karina, can you help me read this part? Um, brand is not um, corporate identi identity, a logo, no. advertising, and marketing. 
So brand is not all that. So what is brand? Okay, can you please continue, Karina? Okay, um, brand, brand is confidence, passion, belonging, action, security, uh, a set of unique values. Very good. Do you know all these words, guys? No, teacher. No. What, what means belonging? Belonging. Belonging. Okay. So, let me see. Do you all see me on the camera? Yes. Okay. Yes. This hat belongs to me. Okay. okay. The Between... Between me and the hat, there is a sense of belonging. Hay que. Excellent. So belonging is what you create with a good, well-established brand. Okay? Okay. Thank you. Oh, my house smells like dinner. <laughs> like beans, right? I uh, fried beans. Fried beans. <laughs> Invite us. Yeah, Evo. come over, come over. I'm right here in Nejapa, cerquita. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> come over. My house is open for you. Y mañana, teacher, va a haber almuerzo. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so what other words do you not know on this one slide? We already verified belonging. What else? Confidence, passion, action, security, and a set of unique values. Do you consider brand is a set of unique values? Yes. Let me ask you a question. Yes. What comes to your mind when you think about the brand Mike Mike? Endurance. Endurance? Long life of the product. Long Quality. life. Quality. <laughs> we all have the same idea about Mike Mike. They Salvadorian are good. Brand. I'm sorry? Salvadorian mar brand. It's a Salvadorian brand. And we all think the same. They are long lasting products. Yeah. They're a little expensive. <laughs> but nobody doubts the quality. So quality is a value. Right? Yes. Yeah. If you go to a Mike Mike store, are they friendly or are they, you know, not so friendly? They are friendly. They are friendly. So that's another value. You can put together a set of unique values. Mike Mike is good quality and is good service. You see? Tell me a brand. Everybody tell me a brand that inspires passion. And this is a, this is a personal question. You tell me which brand gives uh, inspires you passion. Tell me, Melvin. For example, the GoPro brand uh, that for the cameras, for the cameras. Uh -huh. that inspires you to 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 practice sports, to travel around the world. Excellent, excellent. A mí nunca me ha dado, pero hay gente que sí. <laughs> no, it, and it's, 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 it's totally correct. I used to have a motorcycle. I had a motorcycle for five years. And when GoPro cameras came out, I know I wanted to record every single mile that I, that I was on my, on my motorcycle. Because it inspires passion. Tell me, Joshua. I think that 
this brand don't like you, but Real Madrid is a passion brand. For <laughs> me and for millions I, of people around the world. I thought somebody was going to say that. And also <laughs> Barcelona is the That's same. That's right. That's correct. Many of those brands inspire passion. Con que Jorge le va la alianza. Aeroman, Aeroman is very precious. <laughs> <laughs> so now let me change the question. Roxana, what brand uh, makes you feel confidence? What brand inspires you confidence? Um, let me see. And and remember, remember that confidence is the certainty that everything is going to be okay. Caterpillar shoes. Ah, caterpillar shoes. Okay. Who else? Hector, you tell me. Uh, bank, Banco Agricola. Mm, mire pues. <laughs> A ver, Ronald, what brand inspires you confidence? Uh, Toyota. Toyota. Good, good, good. Even the slogan, quality that nobody, nobody refuses. Okay, very good. A ver, um, Martin, tell me a brand that inspires action. To you, of PlayStation. course. Oh, PlayStation. Is that what you said? Yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. Very good. Definitely. Um, Maria Jose, a brand that inspires action. Nike. JBL components of sound. Oh, JBL. JBL. The, the, the sound, dispo, um, the, the sound systems. Yes. I think I have one somewhere. No. Ya lo bote. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> it's very... <laughs> Okay, the the, it, they are very good quality. Let me see. Um, Robert, Robert, where are you? Oh, there you are. Tell me, sir, tell me. Tell me a brand that inspires a sense of belonging to you. Something that you feel part of. I do. Uh, Nintendo. Eso. ¿Quién, quién, ¿Quién dijo Iron Man? Me. Who? <laughs> Roxanne. Oh, Roxanne. So, a brand that inspires you belonging is what you said? Iron Man. My company. Our company. This, this, this video <laughs> conference. <laughs> this video conference is being recorded, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so very good what other brand inspires you belonging Joshua belonging uh, when, when I was a young when you say go to go to Metro Centro <laughs> this uh, will be represent for me uh, belonging because I have good times. Excellent. You just you just touched my heart. I have <laughs> really good memories of Metro Centro when I was a good little. Good memory kid. is the word. Yes. Right. Hey, you're right. You're right. And everybody right now thinking in la gramita <laughs> sentado de la mano con alguna novia. <laughs> no, I remember back in the days when, you know, there were difficult times for my birthday, my mom and my dad would take me to Metro Centro, have a hamburger. That was my birthday present. Biggest. So that was, that was, that was, a, it, right, biggest. Yeah. That was really a, a, a good memory. So that, 
does bring a sense of belonging. El ranchón. Uh, el ranchón, oh. yeah. Ahí me encontraba con las cipotas a los 14, 15 años. <ríe> <ríe> Veámonos en el ranchón, cabal donde me aventaba de la 29. Allá hasta allá, decía yo. ¿Qué pasó en el ranchón? ¿Y era el mundo feliz? Uh, el mundo uh. feliz. Oh, you remember en el, en el, on, on Paseo General Escalón, el Rancho Alegre. Sí, ya I'm eso ya old. es población en riesgo. No, that is too old for us, teacher. <laughs> What do you say, teacher? Uh, Because Ajá, this, the slide. Ajá, yeah, the yeah. slide. Has a long slide. Mm, long slide. <ríe> Todos juntos suspiremos. <ríe> Back in the good days. Ok. Eh, so now, let's change it. Tell me a brand that inspires security. Volvo Cars. Volvo Cars. Caterpillar. Caterpillar. Ok. What else? Toyota. Toyota, ok. Mm -hmm. Security, what inspires security to you? Servir y proteger ante todo, no. No, no. no. <laughs> Woo. It's the opposite. <laughs> it's the opposite. <laughs> ya me llevar. Como andan en malos pasos. <laughs> okay, so what what gives you a sense of security on a brand? Firestone tire. Firestone, excellent. There you go. Now you're getting it. What makes you feel secure? Oh, I just spent $200 on a set of new tires, pero le puse Firestone. Le puse Pirelli. Le, I, I Bridgestone. bought Bridgestone. And that makes me feel secure. Okay. Excellent. So do you understand how a brand transmits these things? Yes. One single brand can transmit all of this. It's not just the logo. El pollito amarillo con sombrero. It's actually the, the, the confidence, the passion, the flavor, the quality, the security, etc. All right? ¿Cuál es el pollito con sombrero? Pero. 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 All right. All right. Let's continue with the video. Questions about this? What's cattle? Cattle, like marking. Mm -hmm. Does anybody have a translation? My mark. Va por Wikipedia, Google y todo. Ganado. Mm -hmm. Ganado. Poultry. Like right? So the cattle is the the, the actual Good. marking of uh, the herds. Herds son las manadas o los grupos. Okay. Okay. Solo en esto se fijó Karina. <laughs> so, let me show you. 
brands are burned on wooden cases. No más vio la palabra wine, dijo, ajá, esto me importa. <laughs> okay, so what was the idea of showing a burn mark on wooden cases? Mm -hmm. A guarantee of a good credit. It was the, the guarantee. The guarantee. Of the source. So where it comes from, what type of wine, what type of grape, what type, what time of the year, that's the source. And of course, an indication or a guarantee of good quality. Okay. Okay, here is the number we wanted to see. Um, let's see, this is just general knowledge, no intention to bother anybody. Um, let's see, Hector, can you read that number for me? Uh, the number of uh, uh, 2010 or 70 billion, 40, for, <laughs> 452 million. Excellent. Thank you. Good job, Hector. It's 70.5 seven, billion dollars is the price of Coca-Cola. Seña cuánto vale tu empresa, te la compro. 70 and 70, 70 70.5 billion dollars. That's a big number. Okay, what do you think about this? I think that the company has a bad year or start the company and anyone believe in the company of Coca-Cola. Okay, okay. They, they will be retired at, at this moment when they sold just nine Coca-Colas but they decide to continue, and now they are in a party. Excellent. In, in 1886, Coca-Cola sold nine bottles the whole year. That was a, a good indicator that they had to make a decision. Do we continue? Do we retire? Do we change Coca-Colas for churritos? What do we do? And then look at the next day, uh, the next fact. What happened in 2010? They sold Mm -hmm. They sold how many? 1.6 billion. 1.6 billion, billion Coca-Cola. That is 1.6 billion Coca-Colas. 1.6 billion uh, bottles sold in the world. So, you know, from nine to 1.6 billion, it is, it is a big difference in a, in a long trip. So that's enough for what? Can you read that for me, Melvin? Enough for every person in London to drink 206 each day. That's a lot of Coca-Cola. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. This may be controversial, but everybody please learning English, okay? Nothing else. <laughs> so, you can brand products. What do they do? Cars. Cars, Cars trucks, and Truck. trailers, pickup Engines. trucks, etc. Pickup trucks, <laughs> right. What do they do? Electronic um, device. Computers. Computers, iPod. phones, I, uh, media players, electronics in general. So you can brand products, but you also can brand what? Service. Services. 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 What's the service of what? this brand? Money. Credit cards. Electronic money. Okay, those are financial services. Bank accounts, credit cards, loans, money, security for values, etc. What's the service they provide? Entertainment. Mm -hmm. Soccer clubs. It's a it's a soccer, a football club, but they offer so many different things. Mm -hmm. Right. Balls. They show clothing, advertisement, TV shows, etc. All right. You can also brand people. Can you tell me a person that represents a brand? David Guetta. David Guetta. Bon what Jovi. else? Bon Jovi. Okay. Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo. Who else? Have you seen the name of a person on a product? Yeah, Jennifer so Jordan. Lopez. Jordan yeah. Shoes. Jordan Shoes, Jennifer Lopez. Jennifer Lopez. La Carolina Herrera. Carolina Herrera. Carolina Herrera, Coco Chanel, etc. Okay, you can also brand the places. This is a brand, but it's actually a slogan for the city of New York. Mm -hmm. And you can also brand religions. What what is what is this um figure represent what religion buddhism buddhism, buddhism. Yeah. right and what does this represent christianism christianism, christianism. excellent we're not going to go any further than that okay <laughs> Me pasó. Okay. How, ma how many of you show me a like if you have used the word googlear? <laughs> right. Show me a like. I have used the word googlear. In my previous job, we used to say, um, eh, we're going to have a meeting. No, no, no. Why a meeting? Skypeémonos. How many of you have used Skype? Show me a like if you have used Skype. Okay. And, oh, this one is very famous also, especially when you say it in Spanish. Photochopiala. <laughs> it is it is very interesting, but it exists. Mm -hmm. You know, I constantly take screenshots of you during the class. 
So when I take screenshots, I have a lot of material for memes, for photos. <laughs> memes. For the stickers. The stickers, <laughs> stickers memes, and Photoshop material. It's really, really nice. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. <laughs> ya todos apagando la cámara. Ay, no, hombre. No sean así. All right. Do you understand this one? When you have a brand so stick in your head that you use it as a verb, that is really something special. Okay, this one is the part I most like of the entire video. Before, when we had homework, los de mi generación allá los ochentas, the eighties, you know that homework was equal to going where? The library. To the library. Finding information in the newspaper, articles, investigation. Now, you don't research anymore. You Google information. And then we have videos. You now, you now find everything, but literally everything in YouTube. And then when you used to buy stuff, now you eBay, Amazon, Wish, um, and God knows how many other, uh, how many other uh, websites. And this is this is another verb that we use: Facebookialo, estoquialo en Facebook, Insta. So you Facebook your friends, and now adding to knowledge is adding to Wikipedia articles. Have you ever visited Wikipedia? A lot of times. A, A million time. times? I have to confess, I use Wikipedia every single day of my life. Everything I hear, I'm like, what? What is that? And I, and I Wikipedia something and the information is there. So... I have to confess, I am an addict to Wikipedia. Okay, brands belong to you now. We make them, we unmake them. Based on what, Maria Jose? Majito dijo. What? <laughs> <laughs> Remember you mentioned that... Aha, uh -huh. so based brand on is, what? Brand is uh, everything that you make or you not make with, with that. Mm -hmm. Because we give brands their, their what? Art. Prestige. Their prestige, their power, their strength. So, what do you think about brands? Give me a two-minute summary. What do you think about the video? What do you think about brands? No smoking in the class, Martin. <laughs> yeah. 
I'm just kidding. Um, Sylvia, you tell me, what do you think about the video and what do you think about brands? Well, I think that it's an interesting video because we can learn about, we can learn more about the brand. Um, it is interesting to see how the brand is not just a logo or, or a... Um, slogan. Or a slogan. It's more than that. It's all the the differentiation that the product or the service uh, provide you like a customer. Excellent. Uh, tell me what you think, Martin. Sorry, sorry. Tell me what you think about the video. Yeah, it's, it's interesting to you know about the logos and I think uh, I think it's a, a part of the marketing strategies uh, in uh, the uh, you know can uh, increase your selling. And excellent, excellent. So everybody agrees with Martin that a good brand will help you increase your sales. Yes, if you agree, give him a like. Like for Martin. Very good. And I think that's very important to say. Because a good brand will certainly put you in the best position for your customers to absorb your products. All right. Um, we are going to stop here. It's Thursday, it's almost Friday, it's almost the weekend. And so we're gonna stop here, we're gonna leave it up to here. And tomorrow, we're gonna have a little evaluated activity, okay? We're gonna talk about brands, we're gonna talk about some specific um, grammar portion and we're going to have a little activity that will be evaluated. So don't miss tomorrow's class. Thank you so much for your time. Get some rest. Go have dinner. And los que han ido al salón, of course, salgan, vayan a la tienda. Muéstrense al mundo. I'll go to the tienda, teacher. What was that? I'll go to the tienda tomorrow. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I cut my hair. I cut my hair, look. So, oh yes, oh, today I'm, we I'm wearing pants because I, I want to go out. Aunque sea donde venden choco bananos aquí en la colonia. <laughs> okay, everybody. Nice to see you. Thank you so much for coming to the class. Welcome, everybody. Los que no pusieron la cámara, it's okay. Eh, okay. Let me just go ahead and take a screenshot for attendance. Uh, here we go. I have 17 people. Saluden a la cámara. Smile. <laughs> Ay, qué lindo. Okay, guys. Thank you so much. Take care okay. and have a good night. Take care. Bye. 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 Everybody. Have a good night. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Nombre para qué? <laughs> <laughs> Adiós, majito. Bye bye. Bye everybody. Bye, bye Karina. Everybody. Bye. bye Martin. Bye Herman. Bye Joshua. Bye Robert. Bye teacher. Bye Hector. Bye teacher. I'm bye, sorry to Dimas. come late. Oh, it's okay. Don't worry. Okay. Thank you for coming and making the effort. Yeah. Thank Nos you, vemos, sir. Robert. Hey, ahí se invitan bye, bye. a la pupusa un día de estos, hombre, qué bárbaro. <laughs> Mínimo, allá en, en Nejapa. En Nejapa, que hay unas pupusas bien buenas, que las sirven con, con chimol. <laughs> Ajá, en el pupusadromo de aquí sirven las pupusas con un chimolito ahí, bien potente. <laughs> hay yeah. que ir, hay que ir. Ok, guys. Bye, teacher. Good night.